Coming up in this video, I take the Stella thermal scope off the boxing rig for a brief session on the scaly tails. Plus, I give the new Raptors their first outing. This is Team right. Foxer, and this, well, this is my mate Dwayne. What the fu- Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm here tonight, I'm actually beat Dwayne to it because I did tell him I'd ring him before um, I left home so we'd get here at the same time and I forgot so uh, anyway it gives me a bit of time uh, to set up the rifle because I've actually put the Stella thermal scope on my air arms rifle for this evening's ratting session if you like this type of content then please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out miss out on any future content right let the ratting action commence so I'm just going to try hitting this um, fibre board, MDF board, uh, without, I'm just going to go off the bonnet, it's 20-ish yards, ratish distance, that'll do, uh, but we're going to go off the uh, car first, just to see, we expect to see, I've been told, rats quite busy down here, across to this pig bin always rats in the back of the cattle bin, uh, cattle yard and then down here in the chickens as well it's proven productive uh, in days and sessions gone by so we will see also for this evening is it a single or would you like a double sir what a choice of thermal devices to use for this evening's session I didn't have time to re-zero the Stella on the air rifle before I left home, but it's dead simple to do with the one shot zero. Take a shot at your board and the heat signature is very easy to see. Freeze frame it, move it across and down, save it, and you're good to go. So this is shot number two. I always like to fine tune it with an extra couple. And there you could see, I, I thought it actually gone low, but what I'd actually done is moved the sticker up. So I've got an even smaller sticker there that um, is around, uh, I think it's eight mil uh, across and it's absolutely bang on there, as you can see. Just so happens to work really well with those stickers on there. It actually knocked the stickers off, but <laughs> that was my first shot. Went down here, moved it over, moved it down. Second shot, pretty much the same hole. So, happy with that. What I'll probably do, if I take a couple at this target here, we'll see just how consistent it is. I'll do a quick five shot group uh, in there. Let's see how that looks. Quite happy with that though. Very, very quick and easy to set up. After the last few moments of daylight slipped away, both the hike raptors and the rats came out to play. The first thing I noticed is how intuitive they are to focus and get comfortable. I also found that having the range finder in scan mode is really useful to begin with because those closer rats would require me to aim high as the pellet rises towards its zero distance. You can see here I'm aiming just a little bit high because it's closer than my zero point. People often say that using thermal you can't see things in front of your target. Well, Using the Stella, I beg to differ. The sensor is able to pick out the minutest differences in temperature, allowing you a decent sight picture. That said, there is an easier target here to the left, and it is pinpoint accurate, this one with a decent headshot.
thought at first I'd actually missed on the, on the it right. there, but that was another headshot. See? Interesting clip here. I can see this wrap using the camcorder. Dwayne also using an IR scope, though. He's using the Pulsar C50. He can't see it. Once again, the thermal can see this wrap absolutely no problem at all. I did, however, a little later switch to the sort of more psychedelic uh, view because I found that it just gave a better... Um, a better sight picture uh, underneath the warmth of these boxes. Uh, although Dwayne did find it and he, uh, I think I shot that one just before he got to pull the trigger. Although we're ratting at close distances, I also wanted to see what the raptors were like uh, pushing it out to kind of foxing distances. So here you can see a cat walking through the houses over in the background there, uh, almost 150 yards away, clear as a bell. There's one on the drink trough behind you. in the drink trough with the pigs. In there. Well done. So I'm just cycling through the different colour palettes on the Stella here just to showcase what the difference in contrast looks like between uh, one setting to the next. Some instances the black hot looks better and some other instances the fusion or psychedelic mode looks a little better. That one there, through the wire. Oh, well done. I was just up on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that serves me right. I think that was just Dwayne getting me back from earlier. This one here, I watched it with the thermal. It did eventually flop down in the pig pen and we went in for the retrieve. Well, that was the end of that ratting session. We had a quick little pickup. Uh, I didn't actually film an outro because uh, we had to get off. Uh, both of us had work early the next morning. But there we go, that's our uh, thermal ratting session. Um, hopefully you'll join us along for some more excursions in the future. Don't forget to give this video a like. Uh, and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. For now, 
Take care, stay Got safe. Big and as always, Showing happy shooting. Later.